Hello, this is Hussain from Geekset.com. In this video, I will uh, demonstrate uh, the performance of the Samsung Q1 Ultra. Uh, we'll start with the normal stuff. For example, computer. As you can see, it's good enough. Uh, control panel. It took, uh, it takes only about one and a half seconds, something like that. One second, it's good. Uh, let's go for, for example, uh, desktop, uh, pictures, photography, quaint. Um, as you can see, browsing is quite fast. Uh, okay, let's start a picture. For example, this picture. Uh, I installed the new uh, browser or uh, software gallery, the new gallery, live gallery, which has v uh, features like publishing to your space, MSN space or live space directly from the toolbar here. It's quite nice and you can customize the colors and all that. It's good looking. Uh, that was for the file explorer. Browsing your files, pictures, uh, videos. As you can see, it's fast. Uh, video clips. Uh, it's quite fast and good enough to. This one doesn't have a thumbnail because it's from DivixState6.com. Uh, it doesn't generate a thumbnail. Because uh, the extension is divx, D I V X. Uh, um, that's all for File Browser. Okay, now we'll go to the Internet Explorer. Uh, as you can see, it's good. I have only one meg uh, internet connection speed, so bear with me. Uh, the browsing experience was good with this. It has a uh, width of 1024 resolution pixel, so it's great because most of uh, pages or web pages are uh, designed for this resolution. So it's excellent for web browsing. Uh, for example, YouTube. We'll choose a video to show you uh, the speed of a video playback. So the videos here are not quite good to show. Okay. As you can see, I am scrolling down, up, it's fast, it's not lagging or anything. Uh, I don't know why at night all the videos are... Mm, okay. We'll choose any video from here. Come on, give me a good video. Okay. <laughs> okay, I will choose any video. Uh, the videos are here, I think they are naughty. Okay, I will choose this video. It's running smooth as you can see. Make it full screen. No chipping, no nothing. So it's running great. So it works well with YouTube and the other sites like uh, Daily Motion or anything else. And by the way, it has. Uh, one of the most excellent devices I'm found out to have a very good sound quality. Uh, okay, what else? Let's go home. Uh, what else? Yeah, opening tabs. It's good. So it works fine, as you can see. Let's go here for something. For example, videos. Oh, it's 
go on another website here. For example, uh, quitevista.com. This is an Arabic site. Uh, let's go to here. We'll go to uh, geekset.com. This is the control panel, I think. Yeah. Um, As you can see, somebody uploaded some pictures and that. So you can see scrolling up and down the page is not lying, it's quite readable and usable. Uh, let's go here with uh, YouTube. Okay, now we can see the thumbnail of the. So it's fast. Changing tabs, no lagging, closing the software, close all tabs. It's quite usable for internet browsing, it's excellent. Okay, let's go to another thing. Okay, now we'll go to Windows Media Center. As you can see, the startup is quite fast. Uh, okay, I have a lot of pictures. Uh, we'll go to picture gallery, and you can control by using this changed from mouse to joystick, and you can move up, down to select, and choose enter to go in the folder or that and you can customize these buttons but now it's on internet uh, explorer or browsing uh, mode so if you click in the back it's back forward scroll up scroll down so it's quite usable for this kind okay let's go for photography Kuwait as you can see it's smooth so you can choose any picture or you can use your finger to select an image okay and you go back with this button you click this and it goes back enter to go in so you can navigate to the Windows Media Center with only these keys so you can run games and you can only use the games uh, that support Windows Media Center with only these controls without configuring or programming anything so it's quite fun to use uh, so Windows Media works well with this if you use a mouse and so if, if you want to go forward fast choose the picture to enlarge it it's quite fast this is quite towers uh, so it's running well Windows Media Center oh I forgot to show you uh, yeah I will show you now uh, about video playback or DVD playback uh, we'll use uh, I will use an external uh, DVD uh, player uh, with me right now it's uh, Rod Star Store it has a uh, portable uh, external battery so you can use it as a DVD player or backup for your photos it has a card reader and you can write it on the CD because it's a CD writer so I used to use it for backing up photos to CDs without using a computer uh, it's quite usable so I'm using this to play DVDs on the Samsung Q1 Ultra uh, I will connect it now and I will show you the speed of uh, video playback uh, or DVD playback just a second so I can connect it